you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community, guys, and today we got quite a few things. So, this video is going to be coming to you later than usual because although this is the typical 1030 content video, we have quite a few things coming out today. So, we do have the special stream on the Madden EA channel on Twitch which is going over series three and the whole update, which is a pretty big video. So I think you guys are going to care more about that. So that video will be coming to you guys, hopefully around the 11, 15 ish, 11, 20 ish, the latest, depending on how long the stream goes. Now, this video is a video that typically gets done on Thursdays, but I'm going to push this one back. So you're probably seeing this more around like one, one thirty ish is probably what I'm pushing this back to. This is the signature series video. Now you might only see one in this video. You might see two. It all really depends on what point of this video, what point of timing things get to, but what we really care about is the one they showed us. This one is a big name drop. Now, this one frustrates me for quite a few reasons because EA has been much too much. It's been a money grab, right? EA has always been a money grab, but this year's been worse than usual. You see, it seems to me like EA is giving all of the biggest name players in Madden a limited time card. And it's becoming kind of annoying because quite literally to get your favorite player, you either have to spend a million coins or wait a whole series to play with them, which... The whole point of Madden was if you can have the coins that you, if you have enough coins, you can have the team you want. Now they, no, not, that doesn't even work. Now it's you can have a lot of coins and you still can have the team you want. Now you have to buy, use by packs because realistically, how many people actually buy limited time cards? Only if you pull them, and even then you're gonna sell them. So they made it very hard to enjoy this game just from that aspect. Now look at this. So let's go to Mud Ten, right? Our favorite players every year we love to have Bo Jackson. He can be limited time. But that's okay. Michael Vick made them limited time. Calvin made them limited time. They made Joe Thomas, which, okay, understandable. Rob Gronkowski, limited time. Troy Palomalo, limited time. But again, that was understandable. But Dion, Randy Moss, Dion, Randy Moss, Peppers, Vick, Calvin. Like, those are cards that we expect every year for an everyday. We shouldn't have to spend. Like, we would like to have all those guys on our team. But enough of this rant. There's also plenty of other guys like Le'Veon Bell, Aaron Donald, Alvin Kamara. All these guys are waiting for cards. And now I can't even afford them. I can't. And the thing is, like, Le'Veon Bell isn't good enough to be your main guy. His stats are always not good enough. But I still wanted him, or Kamara. I would gladly pick him up for 300k, but for a million coins, like, I can't do that. But before we get into this video, boys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. Come join the family, boys. We're a bit we're a bit over 11k. We're grinding out to 12k. Come come on over. You won't regret it. We're growing, we're growing, we're growing fast. And I want to thank you guys for all of that. Make sure to comment down below what you think of this new signature series, Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, you guys probably already read it in the title. But Comment down below what you think of this card. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll go into all the details over on Twitter. And also, if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 150 likes. All the loyal supporters, all the fans, always make sure to come over, like the video. You guys always do that, and I appreciate that a ton. Now, let's head over to Twitter to go check out the Ezekiel Elliott card. All right, so we're on the Ezekiel Elliott card. Honestly, not gonna lie, card art looks awesome. The whole card looks awesome. It's a card that I even want because it looks awesome. But don't look at his stats yet. You guys are gonna knock him look. They're kind of gross. 45 salary cap. He has the evasive archetype, is what I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, obviously, a little signature series logo. Pretty cool. Pretty cool initials. Ezekiel E. Elliott. I don't even know what his middle name is. If that's, I'm pretty sure it looks like an E. But he's six feet tall. Okay, that's that's fine. Height height's normal. I don't really look at height when I look at my running backs. 87 speed. 87 speed. Okay. You know who was uh, faster than 80s? You know who was an 87 speed? Marcus Allen. Our day one of Madden running back that everyone used. That now feels too slow to even use. Okay. 88 Excel. Marcus Allen. 92 Agility. I couldn't really tell you, but we're going to check his card out after this to make sure. 85 Carry. That's not that great. 70 Catching. That's normal. 85 Elusiveness. Not that great. 83 Trucking. Not that great. 90 Break Tackle is good. But that doesn't justify these stats. See, for him to justify all these stats, he'd have to have, he'd have, to have like a 98 break tackle and a 95 stiff arm, which I don't think he has either one. Obviously, he doesn't have this one. Now, as a whole, there's there's multiple things wrong with this card. First off, not fast enough to compete. Not enough acceleration to compete. Not enough carrying. Not enough elusiveness. Not enough trucking. And to make it all worse, they made him a limited time card. So you know what this means? All you Cowboy fans, all you Zeke fans, you can't even touch this card most likely until series four yeah not series three because series three comes out tomorrow which means this card is not eligible for a redux of series four 
So say goodbye to Ezekiel Elliott if you want to get him for under uh, a million coins until, let's see, let's see, about the first or second week of December. Give or take, maybe maybe mid-December around Christmas. That's the last time you get to see Ezekiel Elliott for a decent price. It's ridiculous what they're doing here. I'm not really a fan of this whole limited time system anymore. Like it used to make sense when one I was like, aha, dude, that Saint, that Saints guy got a limited time card. Good luck, Saints team teams. You can't afford him. Now they're making sure that every you no know it is, because everyone runs Steam teams, right? So they're making sure that every team's biggest stars have at least one limited time. So everyone's forced to get these limited times. That's sort of what it is. Theme teams have become such a big thing in Madden that everyone's forced. And then all the regular players like me who don't go for theme teams, we still want these guys. It's very frustrating at this point. I don't really know what they're doing. And then you make them great. See, I think Ezekiel Elliott should have this. He should have a 91 speed. Being a 92 overall at this point in the game, 91 speed. He's that he's fast and he's a higher overall the most. 91 speed. 90 excel. 93 agility. 91 carrying. He does not fumble that often. 74 catching. He should have a 90 elusiveness, a 90 trucking, and a 90 break tackle. That's that simple. Like, maybe not the fastest, right? Maybe give him a 90 speed. Maybe even an 89. But he's, he's, he's the newest running back that just dropped. It doesn't even, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It does not. I'm going to head back on over to the Madden screen to compare him to Marcus Allen. So you guys have a pretty good idea. Remember these stats, okay? All right, Marcus Allen. Come out wherever you are. Let's, let's just show him off, right? Marcus Allen. Less than, less, two overall by less. And don't say he's powered up because he's still two less overalls. And this is the, uh, so Marcus Allen powered up right i have the screen comparison on the left side of the screen mark sauber now is faster one less excel four less agility five better carrying four better catching identical elusiveness uh one better trucking five less break tackle so mark sound is faster can carry better can catch better can truck better slightly less agile like, it's just ridiculous and, and i'm pretty sure that he has like top tier juke and spin right or at least one of the two yeah, he has a 90 spin move and an 87 juke move. Obviously, that's a little chemmed up there, but you get you get the point. Ezekiel better have like some 99. Well, he might, Ezekiel better have a 90 overall stiff arm to justify that, guys. It's, you know what this is? This is a limited time rant because I'm tired of this. It's ridiculous. I'm not a Cowboy fan. I'm a Giants fan, but this scares me that every card that is ever even it's like this, right? If you rate name drops on a scale, a scale from zero to five, like how popular a player's name is, zero cards don't get limited times. Two cards don't get limited times. Three don't get three actually three to five get them like five five star cards should not be getting limited time cards that's just annoying it's annoying at this point look at this let me show you guys let me show you the 92 to 93 overall um uh, 92 to 93 overall cards right now. let's just take a look at what we have to deal with already at this point and you guys know this do you want aaron donald on your team because i want him on my team oh no he's gonna be freaking two million coins for the rest of the year now he's gonna come down with the redux but even then he's still gonna be like 800k because he what because he's still gonna be rare to pull they should have made him a regular card. Randy Moss. Limited time. Dion, limited time. Jadavion Clowney. I could care less about him, but I know some people, someone out there cares about him. Tevin Coleman, I couldn't give an F about, but still. George Kittle, I want on my team. Like, the, every year, right? What do people have on their teams? They have Dion's. They have Randy Moss's. They have George Kittle's. They have Aaron Donald's. They have, what else do they have? Like, these are cards that everyone wants. They made sure to take the most popular cards and turn them into limited time cards. Now, some of them, they have to drop their cards, right? They can't drop everyone rare because people will literally go torch torch and fire to the EA like, database and everything. But, like, you get the point. Alvin Kamara. I haven't remember, I don't think I've ever used a good Alvin Kamara in, like, three years of Madden. How long he's been in the league? Because they never make him, they never even give him a good card or he gets a limited time. It's just ridiculous. Andrew Luck. At least he has a Redux now. Aaron Rodgers. Like, come on. This is getting ridiculous. It's getting redundant. Like, are they serious? I, I'm just, I just pray to the Lords. Like, I thank them every day for the fact that Saquon Barkley was a very washed up mutt hero card that was very underpriced. I, I pray and they gave me a free one. I thank the Lords for that. They blessed me with that one. Now, my fear is if everything's limited time, right? It's not even that. I get we can wait for the Redux. I love the fact that they threw in the Redux. So at least help us out, right? But, but the issue is. I want to be the reason we play ultimate team is to play with the cards the day they come out. It's not fun, like oh, November thirty first, Michael Vick ninety seven overalls coming out. Cool. January first, our boys. All right, series four. Let's enjoy Michael Vick now. Oh wait, it's been a month and a half. There's better quarterbacks in him now. Wait, maybe it's not worth it to get him anymore. Oh okay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the fun part of ultimate team is buying the cards the week they come out and enjoying them for that month because that's how good they are for that month. Like Marcus Allen, the first month was a god. If you waited for him to the second month, he was no longer that great. Guys, like, to give you an example, right? Michael Vick. Michael Vick, when he first came out, was a god. 
by the time his Redux came out, everyone was like, oh, yeah, even me, I'm like, oh boy, can't wait for Michael Vick Redux. His Redux about to come out? Lamar Jackson drops. Okay, Michael Vick's not worth it anymore. I'd much rather get Michael Vick for half the price. Alvin Kamara dropped. Okay, I was like, okay, honestly, I'll wait for his Redux and I'll get him on the team. By the time his Redux is here, which is tomorrow, there's like seven or eight better running backs. I said the same thing about Calvin. Oh, maybe I can get his Redux. But Mutt 10, I kind of get why the Redux should be longer. I understood because they want to do this as like a, a free, a type promo type. I get that. But don't throw guys in there then like Deion Sanders. At least Deion and... Deion and Randy Moss, I don't have to wait too long. And they're going to be gods for the whole year. At least that's the one thing. Deion and Randy will be gods for the majority of the year, so I'm not complaining about them. Now, George Kittle. By the time I get my George Kittle, there's going to be like five other tight Like, there's going to be so many better tight ends, or at least close to it. I think George Kittle's overpowered with his speed, so he makes up for it. But they're going to drop a new tight end soon, so I was like, do I just wait? Like, I don't know. I mean, I want Kittle for the whole year. Aaron Donald's the only guy I know that no matter what, he's still going to be a, a beast at his position. But, like, it's just annoying that I have to wait for it. You know, it's, it's just really, like my team. If you guys noticed, I went from like I go in spurts. I go, I was at a nine and eighty nine, and my my overall's on a jump, it's like a ninety one. This is fake overall. That's from the rage players, but you understand what I mean. You have to wait, and then buy in bulk. Kind of frustrating, guys. This video kind of went pretty long. Uh, I'm gonna title this some like EA rant type crap. I don't know with the ZQL in there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys this was insightful. You guys, tell me what you guys think below. What do you guys think of what I said? Give me some feedback on what you guys think. I want to see what the consensus is. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. Smash the like button if you're loyal, you're a supporter. Always show some love. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Come join the family, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.